Oh. Hello there. Please. Take a seat. I decided to take a different approach compared to other commentary videos I do. I'm sure many of you have heard of the fabulous, very nostalgic, Angry Birds spinoff, Bad Piggies. And definitely one of Robio's best. And I'm sure you also know its sequel, Bad Piggies 2. In today's video, I'm going to discuss my opinion of why Bad Piggies 2 fails to impress me and many others. So, get comfortable as we tear this game apart piece by piece. Bad Piggies 2 was first revealed through a series of trailers on TikTok in June of 2021. There were three different versions of the same trailers, classic, tunes, and the movie. There were many people who were interested and excited about the upcoming sequel, including myself. Now I do believe Romeo held some kind of poll of which the art style the fans loved the most, but we'll get to that later. Fast forward to March of this year, we get our first look at what Bad Piggies 2 would look like. As you can see here, Bad Piggies 2 was going to have a 3D art style, and this idea by itself isn't bad. It's just the way the idea was executed that makes this game terrible, which leads into our next segment. So, as I told all of you in the previous segment, Rovio released a total of three trailers, each with different versions of the art style. Well, in 2022, at a game conference in India, details about Bad Piggies 2 was revealed there, including the news that the game will be adopting the movie style. Yeah, no surprise there. Of course, people were upset with Robio's decision to go through with this. And who can blame them? Robio's been milking the same darn designs for nearly a decade, and people are fed up with it. In May of this year, the official Angry Birds Gaming YouTube channel uploaded a Q&A video answering some questions about the game from Romeo's Discord server. And the most asked question about Bad Piggies 2 is why Romeo chose to go with the movie designs. Believe it or not, it was the first question that was answered first, though the two Bad Piggies staff don't really do a proper job actually answering the question. I'll play the clip for y'all so you see what I mean. So players are asking, uh, why we chose the movie design if any first. Um, yeah, so the art style is obviously inspired uh, by the movies, but I really call it movie style per se. Um, it's our own style, but of course since it's 3D, um, it's pretty similar to uh, to Rob. Um, we chose the style because we did some art tests, as you guys, uh, most of you guys know, um, and that was the style that people liked the most. Now do you guys see what I mean when I say this question wasn't answered properly? Also, let's listen to that last bit again, shall we? Um, um, that was the style that people liked the most. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I was rather skeptical when that last part of the answer was said there. It just didn't make any sense. Why would Rovio make three trailers if they were just gonna go with one style anyway? And that brings us to that poll I mentioned earlier. As you all can see here, over 90% of people voted for the game to adopt the classic style, and barely anyone voted for the movie. Romeo knows how profitable these designs are, yet they were so oblivious to the fact that they were going to make so much money off this game, but it backfired in their faces. But aside from that, wow, Romeo lied to over 12,000 people. That's a new low. Of course. This wouldn't be a proper video on Bad Piggies if I didn't mention the gameplay. And from what I've seen, it's very similar to the gameplay of the original because it's the sequel. The gameplay mechanics are just like the original, but with a few modern tweaks to it. The music also gives the game more of a cartoony vibe, which I find appropriate. The game is called Bad Piggies 2. It has to have somewhat of good music. I do, however, want to mention a new mechanic to this game that a lot of people take extreme issue with. The implementation of an energy system. The purpose of this energy system is to ensure that you are unable to play the game for as long as you want. Really ruins the fun of the game, does it? But yeah, the energy system sucks and that's what people are saying. 
in this video, we have discussed everything that was right and wrong with Bad Piggies 2, from the announcement to its soft launch. I'm very disappointed at what Grovio has done with this franchise. They're milking the brand like a weak cow. They just can't get enough. Aside from all this negativity, is there some constructive criticism I would give to make this game less terrible than it already is? In fact, I do. Grovio most likely won't go through with these ideas, but it couldn't hurt to mention them. 1. Actually listen to your fans. The biggest skill that Grovio lacks is building relationships with their community. I'm not saying that they don't do this. They do, but they don't do it enough. Compare Rovio to a company like Mojang, the developer of Minecraft. Every year, Mojang holds mob votes and let the fans decide for which mob they want to be added into Minecraft. Now, no gaming company is perfect. Mojang definitely has its flaws too. But this example shows that it's possible for a company to be interactive and social with their community. Mojang has more respect for their community than Rovio does for us. Number 2. Rework the game. Remake it from scratch. It's going to take longer to complete it, but at least you're making the fans happy. That's what happens with Plants vs. Zombies 3 1.0. Only the game in its current state might end up being cancelled. Knowing Rovio, they won't do this, so let's skip to option 3. Remove the energy system. Please. If you want people to actually have fun playing this game, then you're going to have to remove these restrictions that prevent them from doing so. But yeah, that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bad Piggies 2 is still a soft watch as I'm recording this, so there are still plenty of changes that need to be made. But for right now, we can only cross our fingers and hope that Rovio does something that improves this game. If you want to see more videos like this one, you can check out my playlist I made on the many sins of modern Rovio. Don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe for more videos like this one. One more thing, feel free to let me know what you guys think about Bad Piggies 2. Bye!